Hi, Jackie and Mike. Since Friday night, Chicago police have reported numerous shootings involving minors ranging in age from 12 to 17 years old. And tonight, at least one of those victims, a 15 year old, is being treated here at Comer Children's Hospital, originally reported to be in critical condition. Crisis responder Andrew Holmes and members of 100 Men Standing Strong met outside of Comer Children's Hospital to pray for young people caught up in violence this weekend. Just before 7 Saturday morning, gunfire rang out in the 5700 block of South Princeton Avenue, where a 15 year old boy suffered multiple gunshots while he was outside. Police say the unidentified suspect fired the shots from inside of a car and fled. Right now, we have more funerals and young people being shot than graduations, and it's sad. Just after 8.30 Friday night, a suspect in a gray car shot a 12-year-old boy in the chest while he was walking on the sidewalk in the 900 block of South Albany. The boy was rushed to Stroger Hospital in serious condition. You shot a 12-year-old in the chest. For what? What did the 12-year-old do to you? You have that much hatred. Detectives are also investigating several other shootings involving minors Friday night into the early hours of Saturday morning. A 16-year-old was shot in the 3500 block of East 106th Street, followed by a 17-year-old shot in the 2600 block of King Drive. A couple of hours later, a 15 year old was hit by gunfire in the 4000 block of South Langley. Police reported each of those teens to be in fair and good conditions when they were taken to the hospital. We have to stop this. You know, we're calling on everybody, all hands on deck, boots on the ground. We have to make a difference and we have to start demanding we see results from our court systems, from the prosecutor's office, from the detective division from the Springfield, the state legislator, the governor, the president of the United States. We need help down here in Chicago. Police have told us that no one is in custody in any of those incidents. And if anyone has information that can help investigators make arrests, you are urged to contact CPD immediately. For now, reporting live outside of Comer Children's Hospital, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.